Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Seal playthrough of our full shiny team that we've been doing. Uh, basically, the whole purpose of this playthrough <clears throat> has just been getting the blood pumping for the new Scarlet Violet games, which come out on the 18th, uh, which at this point is only nine days away. Uh, but since this day is pretty much over, um, I mean almost over, it's pretty much eight days, uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, we are currently playing on the new limited edition Scarlet Violet OLED Switch, uh, which just recently came out. Uh, very thankful we were able to get one. Um, it is a very cool console in my opinion. I think it looks sick compared to the <clears throat> Splatoon Switch that I've seen. I've only seen pictures of it. Um, but it looks like, in my opinion, I think that this one's the cooler model. Uh, before we get right into it and show you the team that we're working with in this playthrough, <clears throat> if you guys want to check out our full shiny team playthrough that we did of Shining Pearl, you guys can check that out on the channel as well. <clears throat> After we do our Scarlet playthrough, we will eventually be doing a full shiny team on Brilliant Diamond. Um, and one of the, or three of the Pokemon I can confirm for that playthrough that we have chilling in Pokemon Home right now for that playthrough is Shiny Gligar, <clears throat> Shiny Cubone, and Shiny um, Totodile. So I'm pretty excited to use those in that playthrough eventually when we get to that. But obviously, the first main focus is the new games, and I am super pumped for those. The leaks have been pretty wild uh, so far with everything that's been coming out in regards to them. I'm pretty excited that there's going to be basically the time difference. Uh, if you play Scarlet, you're going to be basically playing in the past. Uh, if you play Violet, you're playing in like the future. Uh, so it's going to be interesting, uh, and I'm excited. But uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it and show you guys the team that we're working with. So we have Shiny Incineroar, Shiny Dusclops, Shiny Drapion, Shiny Cub... Well, okay, Cub is an exception right now just because we were doing the Isle of Armor DLC. And then we uh, we took him out. Who do we have in there that was? Oh yeah, Shiny Heracross. So Shiny Heracross is who we had in the main story, basically, when we did this playthrough. Right now we just have Kofu in there because we were working on him for the Isle of Armor DLC. Uh, but in reality, he's not really a main part of the team. It's Heracross, or we also have um, Shiny, um, oh, where's it at, where's it at? I forget, is this Grub and a Shiny? No, but we do have a Shiny somewhere, I forget where it is. Oh, here it is. Whatever this is. <clears throat> this, uh, Poipio. A poison type. We got it in a random surprise trade. But it's not something that we would be using. Oh, we also have shiny, uh, Octillery. As well, that's just chilling in Pokemon. Uh, or not in Pokemon Home, but just chilling right there now what's cool about auxiliary <clears throat> is it's a water poison type and I really like poison type Pokemon so I think eventually we will use him in one of our playthroughs if he's available in the new Scarlet Violet games it'd be cool to bring auxiliary with us in that in the last episode that we did we caught Tapu Coco at the end of the Max Raid dungeon that we did. 
Uh, so in this episode, we are going to be doing more, uh, some more of the Max Raid dungeons. And then we're going to be continuing on with basically the story where we need to meet uh, Rose's brother, Peony, in Freezington, which is the town, basically. Which is right, like, over there somewhere. But we are going to be doing some more raid battles first. Before we do the, uh, the raid dungeon, we'll do this little quick raid battle. I'm not going to invite others for this one, just because it's an ice type, and I send out Incineroar with the fire boost. I don't think it's going to be an issue. It's a boss mob. Go ahead and hit it with flame throw. Oh wow, that didn't do anything. His health barely moved. I should have invited the other trainers. I kinda regret it. I think it's about to kick us out the, uh, yeah. We just kicked us out the battle. <clears throat> it's because these trainers, uh, their Pokemon weren't that tough. But it's alright. We're gonna come back in after we connect the console to the end of that real quick. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it, like, this shows me that you caught a spritzy. But that was like a while ago that you caught that, I think. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. I was thinking about the one time you saw- I think you knocked it out the one time you yeah. saw. <laughs> Oh, 
hope everybody's having a good uh <laughs> a good Wednesday night. Was last track what day it was. Surprised nobody wants to catch a frost moth. I'm a random trainer. Nobody's trying to help me out with this. <clears throat> Especially when we're using Incineroar. Somebody wants to join with a size or <clears throat> I'm down with that. So curious if there's gonna be a um, <clears throat> a new EV evolution in the new Scarlet Violet games that come out.
It's literally just me and that dude's size are out right here. The other Pokemon got knocked out. I literally just attacked twice in a row. It's messed up. Oh, because of that, we just got kicked out of the, uh, the dungeon. Okay, this Frostmoth wants to play games. We can do that. I mean, we are the Signy Games. So, we might as well just come on back here again. Hit and bite others again. See if we can get more than just one person to tune in for help this time. Person Sizer did a good job. I mean, it was the last one standing, but <clears throat> I was the only one doing super effective hits. Kind of. <clears throat> it looks like the Sizer person's coming back. Somebody's joining in with Zaceon. Yeah. Okay, so he switches to Ninetales. That's a good move. I think we'll be good with Rushy Ram, Nine Tails. And Shiny Instant Roar. <laughs> the fourth person, which is the like computer, has got to be the uh the singer dude. Dynamax and Center Ore does look pretty cool.
Yeah, I think this time Frostmoth is going down. Third time's the charm. Something to do my eye. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and hit with Flutter Bar. Hey, Tilly. Made it with uh, Max Darkness instead. I guess it wasn't even needed that time. We're actually ran and took it out. Well, we caught Frostmoth. Alright, let's go do a Max Ray dungeon real quick. Before we head on into Freezington. Whoa, check him out. Big old Mammo Swine. Hopefully we don't one shot it. I don't think we're going to. Oh, that was close. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't take recoil damage. Uh oh. <laughs> we got damaged by recoil and then we got knocked out. Oh well. What's up, Penguin? <clears throat> Hope you're having a good night. Welcome to the stream. Getting pumped for the new games. 
so many leaks, man. I, I honestly, I watched the video a little bit ago, like, not spoiling anything, but just about, like, the Paradox Pokemon and how there's different ones for each game. Which, in a sense, kind of serve as, like, version exclusives. Alright, we are getting ready to go do a Max Raid dungeon real quick. We might do two of them before we head on back towards Freezing Ten, which is where we're technically supposed to go to meet up with Rose's brother, Peony. The Dawn fan? Yeah. There's the, like, past form and the futuristic form. So there's, like, depending on which games you get, that's what I'm saying, there's gonna be, like, some Pokemon are gonna have, like, futuristic look. Some are gonna have, like, a different style look. Depending on which games you get. So it's gonna definitely be interesting. We'll go ahead and invite some others to join our Max Raid dungeon. Looks like we got others to join without a problem. <coughs> I need to figure out how to change my uh, my gamer tag on here. Like, not my gamer tag, but my uh, little picture that shows up when you select your Pokemon. Ooh, I might take Seedra if it's still available. <sighs> yeah, Seedra, without a doubt. Let's go. Ooh, a dark type legendary. Ooh, interesting. Could it be dark ray? That'd be sick. Probably not. It's probably not, but that would be cool. You picked out the icon for your channel. Hey, that's what's up. The boss is Evetel. Oh crap, you're probably right. Welcome to the stream, Keegan. Hope you're having a good night. Planning on picking up the new games, Keegan? If so, which one are you picking up, man? You getting Scarlet? You getting Violet? I'm eventually probably gonna get both, but I know for sure we've already <clears throat> we've already got our uh, pre-order. Like we already digitally pre-ordered Scarlet, so on the day it comes out, it'll automatically download on the Switch. I'm excited, we're definitely gonna be streaming uh, on that Friday night when it comes out and then that Saturday the day after is my birthday so I'm gonna be streaming for a little bit on my birthday but then I'm gonna be spending the rest of the day basically with family and my girlfriend and so that's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a good Saturday especially get to play some new Scarlet on that day too, it'll be fun. Hey, that's what's up. Ooh. 
Yo, that would be sick. <clears throat> For real though, if you guys can join up. In Scarlet and Violet, like when we start up our journey. I'm still not sure which all Pokemon we're bringing with us yet. Um, I know for a fact, I definitely want to get Grievous, I think. If not Grievous, we're definitely getting Fido and naming him after my dog, because he kind of looks like my dog. Oh, you got the Slow King? Hey, that's what's up, Keegan. Oh, <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that, man. I'm just gonna keep Seedra. I guess I'll go with the water type. Looks like it's a... I can't even tell. <laughs> Dunsparce. I thought I thought I heard that uh, in the new games, Dunsparce might be getting or is getting a new evolution, which will be interesting. I mean, about time. Dang, man. <clears throat> 40 runs, just on the E-Battle. Or no shiny E-Battle. Yeah, that's alright, man. You keep grinding, you'll get there. One of my buddies traded me a, uh, a shiny Zygarde, which we have just chilling in Pokemon Home right now. I am excited after we do our Scarlet run through, we will be doing a Brilliant Diamond playthrough where we're going to be having a full shiny team again. Um, three of those Pokemon I know for sure that I just recently got. Um, shiny Gligar, Shiny uh, Farfetch'd, Shiny Cubone, and then I'm either going to bring Shiny Totodile or Shiny Chikorita in that playthrough as well. I'm just not sure which ones yet. There's really no point in him actually when his health is up though. I need to get my dude switched out of his Isle of Armor dojo outfit. I don't know why he's selling that. Ooh, I mean, since since Keegan's got a slow king, which is a water type, I'm gonna go ahead and just switch out Cedra, Don Sparse. 
Hey, it's a septile if we go to the grass. But if we go to the scientist chick, or the lady, she'll give us the, the backpacker. She's got items we can take. I don't even know what I picked. I just clicked something. You said you may stick with you, Coco. I I don't blame you. I might. Um, I've been. I'm I'm torn right now. Like I'm, I'm either going with you, Coco, or I'm going Quaxley. Um. <laughs> I was Team Fucoco all the way, and then it's just Quaxley that dude too. Plus, water fighting will make for a good, a good typing. Don't get me wrong, Fire Dragon will be a good typing too for Fucoco. It is cool too, I found out that like, so, obviously the new schools, so like for Scarlet, you'll be playing at the, the Uba Academy, which is Spanish for orange, and then um, for Violet, you'll be playing at, I forget the name of it, but it'll be Spanish for grape, and it's the orange and purple. I think it's cool that they put that on the, the new controller. You love the grass starters. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I was always a fire type starter. Like Chimchar is my all-time like favorite. Just Sinnoh is my favorite region, but Chimchar is like my favorite starter. But in general, I like a lot of <laughs> a lot of Pokemon. I mean, I love having a variety of typing I don't like to stick to one type when it comes to like my team obviously yeah I think a lot of people obviously like to you know play diverse that way you have different typings you can use depending on the situation you're in so I definitely like grass type Pokemon as well especially ones that are grass poison because I love poison type Pokemon and if they've got like like Roserade Give it Giga Drain and like Toxic. You got, you got me. <laughs> I just realized Dunspar's got knocked out. Are you using Marini? Uh, no, I was using Dunsparce. Unless I'm misunderstanding what you're asking. Look it up real quick. I'm not even sure what you're referring to, to be honest with you. Marini. Let me look that up. I 
honestly didn't even see anything. I just looked up Marini. Oh, it's like it's in the trailer. I'm not sure. I'm assuming that it's not a shiny battle. I, I don't know what shiny battle looks like, so. But I didn't see it shine when it popped out. But I also wasn't paying fully attention when it popped out either, so. Let me know. I'm actually looking it up what shiny battle looks, up, looks like real quick. Okay, yeah, no, he definitely doesn't look like that. Yeah, the shiny you battle does look sick though. Are you hunting for any shinies to put into Scarlet once it is compatible with Pokemon Home, or are you going to hunt them in Scarlet? Um, so yeah, so once Pokemon Scarlet is available, like once Home is available for Pokemon Scarlet, we're definitely going to be transferring over some of our shinies that we can into Scarlet if possible. Um, if not, then we will be doing some shiny hunts in Scarlet for sure. Because I like to have at least a couple of shinies in our playthroughs when we stream them. Just because, I, I mean, I think it keeps it more interesting for the viewers when we've got some shiny Pokemon on the team. I mean, obviously, you don't have to have shiny Pokemon. And I don't want people to feel like, oh, if you don't have a shiny Pokemon, your team's not worth watching. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I think it does add more... Um, interest when there's shiny Pokemon. Now don't get me wrong, there are some shiny Pokemon designs that in my opinion they failed on like some of the regular pokemon look better than their shiny counterparts and it's sad that they could have made them look a lot better for some of those you know like shiny crawdont which we have in this playthrough literally looks just like Crawdon. He's just like a little bit lighter of a shade of red. I mean, it's almost so light you can barely tell the difference. Drapion, same thing. Shiny Drapion we have on our team. Looks pretty much the same as regular Drapion, just a lighter shade of purple. I mean, come on, bro. You could have made it like... I mean, Skaroopy, Shiny Skaroopy is red. Why didn't you just make on like a dark red. <laughs> hey, that was Scott Pro. This morning I was looking at some games on uh, the Nintendo shop that were like um, not necessarily like the ones that were on sale but like just their like best sellers they're like best selling at this point and right now one of them was this Call of Jerez game it's like this shooter game and it was originally like a $20 or some game but it was on sale for like a dollar ninety nine, and I had like a bunch of Nintendo coins that I, like I hadn't spent, and so I just spent a hundred ninety nine of them and got the game for free. So if it's something that I might enjoy while we've got you know filler time, we might do a little bit of gameplay of that. But I mean. I've been mentioning as well in our other streams how we also have like Modern Warfare 2 on PS5. Like, there's a lot of games we could stream up for PS5 on the channel. Right now, we've just basically been doing Pokemon content because, I mean, hey, I like Pokemon and it's been getting the blood pumping for the new games without a doubt. So, I've just been doing that. 
Um, I don't even know if I want- yeah, I, I'll take you right I guess. I was tempted to take Dunsparce, <laughs> but we really don't care. We'll get a Dunsparce and Scarlet. We won't really use it, we'll just put it in the box. Although, if Dunsparce did get a new evolution and it is sick, then we might use him. Hunting for a shiny Toxel. Hey, that would be dope. Honestly, um, I want to get a, a shiny poison type that we can use in that playthrough for Scarlet. Just because, like I said, I love my poison types. But I also, I mean, I love my water type Pokemon as well. And my fire types, so... It's going to be interesting to see what we fill up our team with. There's like a part of me that wants to use a lot of... Um, a lot of the newer Pokemon just to try them out. And we probably will for a little bit. But we're also probably going to do multiple playthroughs of the game. I mean, I've done... Sword and Shield now probably like five or six games. I like five or six run throughs of Sword and Shield. Only one of them has been streamed. Oh crap, my bad y'all. I didn't realize it was waiting on me. Alright, legendary water type. You got shiny Evento? Hey, that's what's up, man. I don't think mine was shiny. I'm almost pretty certain it wasn't. But if you yours, if yours was, bro, that's what's up. And no problem, man. Uh, anytime, man. I appreciate the help with the with the dungeon. Other switch after like we upgraded when we got the new Scarlet Violet. I gave that to my girlfriend and she's been playing a Shield playthrough, and I got her some shiny Pokemon that she wanted for her playthrough, um, and she's been killing it, man. She's been having fun with it. It's been cool to watch her get to play the game. She's got a shiny Wulu. She's got a shiny. It was a shiny Torchic, but now it's shiny Combuskin. She had shiny Brioni, which um, is now shiny, well, shiny Pop Deal, which is now shiny Brioni. Um, and she also has Tombi. Hey, I appreciate it, Keegan. You have a good one, too. And she's got a shiny Snowbird. She got a solid team and the starter that she chose is Groupie, so right now she's got a Flacky. So that makes up the six on her team. 
which I told her is good coverage. She's got the water ice coverage with Brioni, you know. She's got the um, grass coverage with Groupie. She's got fire coverage with Combustion. She'll have bug coverage and flying type coverage with Tombi. And then technically she'll have ice and grass coverage with Snowbird. And yeah, and she has fighting coverage with Combuskin too, yeah, for sure. I also got her a shiny, um... A shiny Goldeen, but because her team was already filled up and she already had the water, the shiny water type with Brioni, she's just leaving it in the box for right now. But it'll probably get used up eventually at some point. Everybody just told her, nah, we don't need a Pokemon scientist lady. Yo, is that a shiny Garbodor? What the heck? No, it can't be. It's coloring looks so much different. I was like, what? Yeah, I think it might be just a regular one too. I know this guy too. I think it just it looks different because it's dynamaxed. have your team finalized hey let me know let me know which team you're trying to rock with i think for sure i want to use that new poison monkey pokemon i think i'm going to be having him on my team as well
crazy to think tomorrow's Thursday, and then it's Friday after that. And the next Friday from that Friday is when the games come out. I kind of figured that one was going to be super effective. Tonight, too.
We're seeing Kitty's type is giving me a hard decision. Oh then we just got blown out of the man, you were kidding me. Oh crap. Dang it, I didn't mean to hit no. Huh. Oh well. Alright, well we would do another one, but um, we have done... Well, we might do another one here in a second. Give me a second here. I'm going to do a surprise trade real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of... Let me check this summary. Okay, it's just a regular one. We'll get rid of a Q long. I'm labeled as grass art. Yes, Prigatito has been labeled as grass art. Quaxley's water fighting, and then I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be um, fire and fire dragon, I think. Fire dragon or fire ghost for um, for Kikoko. Couldn't think of his name. We just got traded an EV, that's kind of cool, I guess. We'll take that. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and save it for here, for part 18. I appreciate those of you guys that did tune in tonight. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, hope you guys are staying pumped for the new games, and if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to hit the like button on the content. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to stay tuned for more. Because when the new games come out, we will be streaming those live on the channel. So, very excited for that. Uh, but once again, I appreciate those of you that tuned in tonight. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.